so we are back with uh, a very uh, simple topic uh, one of our uh, users in our uh, in the website asked us how to uh, open one of the projects in the PCS7 course so uh, we will first uh, we should do the retrieve and open the project uh, it's an archive So when the uh, archive uh, version is retrieved, uh, it's possible to open the project and uh, then the next step would be changing the name of the, uh, the name of the server because uh, there's a possibility of, uh, there's possibility of the, you know, uh, when you install the PCS7, the name is, uh, the name would be different and uh, you need to change the name. So we will run uh, both simulation and the uh, graphic HMI of the project and then run the machine. So if you have the project, there is possibility of the run the simulation, simulated version of the machine very, uh, very easily. So let us uh, open the project. The first step, uh, we need to change the name of the server here. Mm. Open OS. The server is not available. Do you want to? Uh, we need to, we need to open and change the name here. So this is the uh, new computer name, and uh, let me close. Close the project and open it again. And uh, uh, it's better to test uh, if it's running or not. So we run the graphic. We run the OS and uh, the next step will be um, download the hardware and logic in order to uh, start the simulation. So uh, we, mm, we have the simulation here. And in S7400, this is the CPU. So I downloaded the CPU, the next step uh, would be downloading the charts. And charts are here. The whole uh, program 
is uh, implemented in all of um, these uh, charts. I download the charts. And um, we need to run the CPU. Okay. Uh, let me just put the CPU in run mode and okay. Uh, there is a possibility of adjusting the. settings uh, adjust the screen resolution so somehow it's uh, it's much better now uh, let's just uh, we enter this set value of uh, like 9k and uh, run the uh, check the conditions check the uh, conditions to uh, run the machine so we have the set point here we click on permission check uh, all uh, required permits Perbit is okay and now we start the machine so um, the permission period is uh, 30 seconds and the start uh, is possibly around one minute uh, these are all alarms that are uh, included in this uh, very simplified uh, simulation this is the um, opening of, of the in, inlet guide main and this is the opening of the vent valve so when we are getting uh, close to the final stage uh, normally when uh, the vent valve, vent valve is open there is no pressure actually here and when it's getting close uh, we have enough pressure here so the set value is in uh, millibar the pressure so now uh, the vent valve is closing and we just uh, mm, compressing uh, mm, the, the gas or air into the header so the set value is non 9k and the actual value is getting around 9k and the PID controller structure here is um, in charge to do the whole control so uh, it's getting getting so close to the actual value and uh, None K, nine K is okay. So uh, let us uh, just uh, test uh, the set value. We decrease the set value like six um, K. So six uh, K is less than actual pressure. So we need to vent some uh, extra pressure. And when we are getting close to um, set value the vent valve should um, should close so we we may experience uh, undershoot here that's okay 
and uh, in the next step will be doing some tests on the alarms I will test uh, like the vibration and oil not okay uh, see what uh, what so the set point is followed here so I just uh, trigger the shutdown for vibration here when it is should should be zero in order to have a stable uh, pressure here so uh, I will we have the shutdown for vibration and oil but uh, we need to know which one is the first v vibration is first so we use the first trip out uh, uh, a strategy in our program first trip out in order to determine uh, which alarm is uh, happened first so uh, acknowledges record here and uh, we we need to do the permission and start again very uh, simple it's very simple to use uh, if you want to know more about how the program is developed you need to check the source code for the SCL logic and charts all the program are listed here if you watch all videos uh, regarding to the final projects you will learn more and uh, we are starting again if uh, uh, any extra information needed for the pcs 7 course please uh, inform us in the comment section uh, thank you for watching i will stop and we will uh, move to the uh, next topic in the next video.